Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 favorite ColourPop products. Technically, it's gonna be like top 10 category, not top 10 products. It's just too hard to narrow down to top 10 products. Like that's literally impossible for me because you guys know I love ColourPop. But I did do a video like this last year and I thought I would do it yearly just because ColourPop is constantly releasing new products, new formulas, new shades. And for someone that is new to ColourPop, it can be very overwhelming. You don't know what to buy. So hopefully this video can be somewhat of like a guide to ColourPop. These are all just my personal favorites. I have a bunch of favorites from ColourPop that probably won't be mentioned in this video. So these products are just like my top, top favorites. Everything that I'm gonna share with you guys, I probably have on my face or at least like 80% of the products I'm gonna share with you, I have on my face right now. Like I just use them in my everyday life, in my everyday routine, and I wanna share that with you guys. So hopefully this could be helpful. And we've got a lot to cover, so let's just go ahead and get started. This list is not in any specific order. It's not going from number 10 is the 10th place and number one is number one place. It's just all mixed up. There's no specific number one spot because I like them for different reasons. They're all like different categories, if that makes any sense. With that being said, the first category is going to be ultra glossy lips. I adore the ultra glossy lips so much. I'm not a really big fan of the ultra mattes or the ultra satins. I prefer glosses and lips lipsticks just because they are more hydrating, more creamy on the lips. So that's definitely personal preference. But if you do love a good gloss, the Ultra Glossy Lips from ColourPop are amazing. They actually have two formulas. So the original formula that they came out with is an Adolfo applicator like this guy. And then a newer formula that they released, I believe last year, is like a brush tip which is more like this guy. And the brush tip one is more high shine, it has a scent to it, and it's just more glossy and juicy. So I have a couple favorites here. The first one is Aquarius. This was the first ultra glossy lip that I used and I just fell in love with the formula. I could not get enough of this gloss. It doesn't even say ultra glossy lip on it anymore. Like it has literally rubbed off. That's how much I've used it. It's just the most pretty, cool tone, mauve pink. This is in collaboration with Kathleen by the way, but I usually don't like cool tones on me, but for some reason this just looks so good on the lips. So this is the original formula that I was talking about and the original formula is definitely more opaque. It's still very glossy, but it's not as juicy as the High Shine formula. Another favorite is from the Disney Designer Collection, actually. I have this one here called Boo. I really love this one as well. I also love Bobby D. D. And for some reason, I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I checked all my handbags and it's not there. So I'm like, it's concerning. I'm gonna purchase another one because that Bobby D is like my favorite gloss, period. And then my last favorite, this is the brush formula, which is the high shine formula. This is called Champagne Mommy. It's literally such a pretty shade on the lips. It has lots of specks of glitters in it, and it's a little bit more sheer compared to the previous glosses that I just showed you. Those four shades are probably like my most worn shades out of the whole ultra glossy lip family. The second category is luxe lipsticks. Again, with luxe lipsticks, there are different formulas. We have the cream, the matte, and the velvet blur. So I have five here with me. I would say that these are like my favorite shades. I have a bunch of favorite luxe lipsticks from ColourPop. I actually have a whole video on that that's like a top 10 favorite luxe lipstick video which I'll leave a card for somewhere here if you're curious. That was filmed a while ago. There has been a couple new shades that have been released. My favorite one period just like ever is Layover, which I'm wearing right now on my lips. Layover is just my most worn luxe lipstick. If they were ever to like discontinue Layover, I would literally think ColourPop is crazy because it's literally their best shade. I have a couple more favorites here. I do have three of the Velvet Blur. I got Super Bloom, CA Love, and Hey Mr. DJ. I wear Super Bloom quite frequently to a point where I actually put this on my top vanity just because I do wear this one a lot to work as well. When I want a pop of color, I I would use this one more of like a gradient lip and I would wear that to work. This is like my go-to gradient lip color. Hey Mr. DJ is up there with Layover. It has a similar vibe, but I would say Hey Mr. DJ is a lot more pink and brighter, like spring and summertime. It just makes you look really good. See, I love is like another warm, like terracotta nude. It really stands out to me. I love the Velvet Blur formula as well. And then I have another creme finish formula. This one is called Tea Thyme. This one is a really new one. It came out in the spring collection, but I have been loving it. I've been wearing it a lot. So all of these shades are in that like soft, muted, 
rosy tone family. I have a couple of like brighter favorites, but for the most part, these are the shades that I wear the most often, so I just want to recommend that. Moving along to the face category, I have the press cheek category. For this category, I specifically want to mention the press highlighters and press blushes. The press blush that I use the most often is this one here called Weirdo. It's just like a soft, muted, dusty rose shade. This one is called To The Ten, which I love as well. When I want something a little bit more lighter and more pinky. And then I have Glass Slipper. When I want something a little bit more brighter and noticeable, I would go for Glass Slipper. The bronzes are nice, but like not in my top 10 to be honest. And also their pressed highlighters is literally amazing. This is their In Nerendo color. I believe they have two. In Nerendo is definitely the better one. I use this so frequently, guys. I mainly use On The Loose, which is the golden champagne, but when I want more of like a silver highlight, I will go with Fine Line. These two are the only shades that I use. I haven't really touched anything else. These two are just beautiful on the skin, very metallic and just wet looking. Their press formula is really good. It doesn't emphasize texture, very easy to blend and just works amazing. For the fourth category, I have the Super Shock blushes. I don't know why it took me so long to get onto the Super Shock blushes. I think because I tried the Super Shock shadows and I didn't really like that, that I was just kind of put off super shock in general but i actually got sent between the sheets in one of my ambassador box i believe like last year and ever since i used it i couldn't get enough of it i have dented this guy so much like i can almost see that i'm gonna hit pan on it and i'm like determined to hit pan on it soon it's just such a beautiful subtle cheek color like it literally looks like you're just blushing from within it doesn't look like makeup it looks so natural so if you're a girl that loves very natural makeup very subtle makeup super shock blushes are like your like your dream i like to apply it with a beauty sponge i don't like using brushes with super shock formulas i feel like it doesn't really mix well so i'll literally just get my damped beauty sponge in here and just dab it on and it just looks amazing so between the sheets is probably the one that i use most frequently and then i have another two here so this one is from britman's collection it's called stop it if i want more of like an orange coral blush to match like my eye look or to match my top or something this is the one that i will use and then the other one is also pretty recent it's from the spring collection this one is called growth flirt this one's a little bit more red like a red coral different blushes different purposes different looks they all work great and they're all so beautiful i love the super shock blushes the fifth category would have to be the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder. I'm actually running low on this one and I already have a backup of it. That just shows you how much I love it. Like if you got a backup or something, then it's like you love that product a lot. I am actually wearing it today. I did use this to sit down at my concealer and also my T-zone. I don't know what's in this powder, but man, it makes you look so smooth and so flawless. Like you have no pores and on camera, in photos, it just... It looks so good. The next category is going to be their pressed eyeshadow palettes. I have a bunch here. I also have a top 10 video on my favorite eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. So if you want to see that video here, I will leave a card, of course, for you. But it was filmed a while ago and they were always releasing new palettes. So these are like my favorites. So I'll just quickly run through them because for every single palette from ColourPop, I have a review video and also three looks along with that. So if you want to see inspiration for any of the palettes, I will leave links down below for you. But we have the it's a princess thing from Disney. We have the Sweet Talk palette, which is more of like a newer one. We have Through My Eyes, which is in collaboration with I Love Sarai. We got Perception, which is in collaboration with Makeup Shayla. We have Dream Street, which is in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And then we have Give It To Me Straight and also Yes Please. Double Entendre is also my favorite. I don't know where he is. I don't know why he's not in this pile. But Double Entendre is also a favorite of mine as well. Next category is Cream Gel Liners. I have my little storage unit of my Cream Gel Liners. I am slowly but surely trying to collect all the Cream Gel Liners. And I love that they have changed the packaging. So this is one of the new packaging with the whole tube of it is the same color as the actual eyeliner. This is the old packaging where it's all white and it just has the color on the tip. I do feel like some of them work better than others. Like for example, Swerve 
is not a favorite. Like, I do not like Swerve. My most frequently used one right now, I'm using a lot of the Sincerely Yours Cream Gel Line that's in collaboration with Zoella. But it is very similar to Mr. Bing, which is in collaboration with Kathleen, but I feel like it's a permanent shade now. Because of this eye look today, I'm actually wearing Fastlane, which is the one that I wear often if I'm doing green eye looks. And it just depends on the eye look. Like, if there's a pink eye look, I will use Boots. If I'm doing a yellow eye look, I will use Punch. The only con about them is that they snap super easily so you got to be very careful with them don't roll them up too high or it's just gonna snap off um, but for the price and for the shade range that they have it's just very easy to get and eyeliners are always a great way to spice up an eye look the next category we have is the ColourPop BFF mascara specifically black on black which is the one that I wear like every single day I just think the formula is like really great now if you don't like a formula that is like quite thick if you put too much on it will clump up your lashes it will give you those spidery lashes but for me personally I don't mind that I actually like that just because my lashes are so sparse it's like I'll take what I can get you know what I mean but this is a really great formula for me personally it's very comparable to the Too Faced but in the six I also like the wand for my upper lashes it just coats them so evenly I don't use this really on my lower lashes just because it's too big for my lower lashes so hopefully Colourpop can come out with like a lower lash mascara or like a different wand mascara but I really like the formula on this it's something that I will definitely repurchase because it's just so affordable why would I go buy the Too Faced one when it's like probably double its price when I can just get this one now for my number 9 spot, I have one of the Jelly Much shadows. So I don't want to say all of the Jelly Much formulas are great because honestly I haven't used all of them. Whistling Pixie, the one I have here, is the only one that I have used properly all over my lids. I just mentioned this in one of my monthly favorites. It's just so beautiful on the eyes. Like it's such a standout product to me. The dimensions in these Jelly Much shadows is crazy and how it looks on the eyes, it just really, it's really eye-catching. It has so many specks of glitters and for my last category I want to mention some of their brushes because I do feel like Colourpop does have a couple of good brushes in their range I wouldn't say all of them are great here are the brushes that I use I would say like every single day you can see some of them I use today they are dirty so the first one is the large powder brush I use this for my powder all over my face you could even use this for like bronzer even but I use this for my powder just to set the rest of my face and then for the eye brushes I have I use this one in every single eye look. If I'm using a transitional shade then this is the this is the brush that I'm using. This is the Tapered Blending Brush. I use it in every single video, guys. Like, you have to know that I love this brush. Another one that I like as well, I think this is called the Blending Brush. I like using this to like really diffuse out metallic shadows. So if I want something very diffused and I want a metallic shadow on there, this is what I'll use. It's just so fluffy, but it also picks on the color at the same time. And because it's synthetic, it really picks up metallic shadows very, very nicely. And another couple favorites, this is the ColourPop E9. It's pretty much the ColourPop tapered blending brush but like a babier version of it and I would say it's a lot stiffer. It's not as fluffy and bendable as this one so this one's gonna pack on more color and make it more dense. And then my last favorite brush is the small shader brush. I think this is what it's called. They do have a larger one but because of my eyes and I have a smaller lid space I always like to use like smaller brushes. There's no point of me using bigger brushes because I don't have that much control over them so I always like to use smaller little brushes like this. So yeah guys, that was all of my top 10 favorite ColourPop categories. I'm not going to say products, but the title of this video is going to be products. Top 10 favorite categories from ColourPop. Hopefully this video was helpful. I know I was very brief about everything, but if I do have any related videos to anything I mentioned in this video today, I will leave links down below. I'll leave it in some cards somewhere here. So yeah, if you're new to ColourPop, check it out. I do have a code that you can use. It's not affiliated. It's literally just for you to use. And I mean, if I can help you guys save money, then I'm gonna help you guys. Like, I don't care if I get commission in return. If it's saving you money, then just use it. Like, I don't get anything in return for that. Feel free to use the code if you want. I'll leave it down below. So yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys found it helpful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. That would help me out so much if you did. Comment down below your favorite ColourPop products if you have a top 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!